Hello. Today we're here to talk about the story of Pavillon. History is one of my biggest passions. I love it. And I'm here to teach you about history. I don't know what it is about history. I just love it. There's nothing other subject that I just love more. So today, I'm here to teach you about history. Now, history isn't just about Romans, world wars, loads of other stuff that history is about. You think about William Wallace, Papillon, history, it's all history. Today we're here to talk about the story of Papillon. Now, I'm pretty sure you've watched the movie Papillon or heard about Papillon. Papillon means butterfly in French. Papillon had a whole bunch of butterflies on his chest. One here, and then he got a whole bunch of others. He was sent to Devil's Island. Devil's Island was a prison that barely anyone could escape from. Well, it wasn't really a prison. It was more of a hellhole. You see, Devil's Island, it had a jungle around it. Um, no one had ever escaped before, before Papillon. You see, he went there with two, with one other person, Degas Lewis, uh, the actor, um, the one that I saw he, the actor who played him was Remy Malek, Remy Malek, and Degas Lewis was an accountant, or a banker I'm pretty sure, who forged a whole bunch of signatures, and, um, they became good friends because Degas was a big millionaire, big time millionaire. And he became friends with Papillon. See, Papillon would protect Degas. And when Papillon first escaped to escape from the prison that wasn't actually Devil's Island, he got two years in solitary. And then he tried to escape again with Degas' help. Five years in solitary. And then after that, sent straight to Devil's Island. That's where he met Degar again. Um, where... Where Degar had been there for five years after his disobedience. At... Before Devil's Island, I can't remember the prison name. Um... Yeah. And... It... The story's pretty amazing. And how... Why did Degas not want to go with Papillon? Because if you didn't watch the movie or haven't read the book, when Papillon found a way to escape from Devil's Island, which no man had ever even thought of, he told Degas about it, and they were going to escape together. But at the end, Degas decided, no, I'm not going to go. And I don't know why. Because before they, on their second attempt, Degas stabbed a guy on the boat that they were on. They had four people with them. Matt a other guy, Papillon and Degas. And the, the guy that I didn't know was named, he was stabbed by Degas. And maybe he felt bad for that, and he stayed at the island. Which, I find weird. Because if you have, I don't know, been framed for a murder or actually killed someone, would you want to stay in prison? Or would you not? See, and that's weird. See, he didn't want to go with him. At the last second, he said, "No, no, um, I can't come. I'm not going to go." Which is really weird. He just didn't. Go. And then, and then Papillon ended up escaping himself. He made a raft out of coconuts, chucked them, and then jumped out, jumped after them into the river. Because every seventh wave was a big one and it would take them right to the mainland to France, to Paris. And that was how he escaped. A few years later, he took the story and published it. And that's how we know De Papillon, Dega, Lewis, Match Lorette and the other guy on the boat who got stabbed because I can't remember his name.
back to Halo. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known it. You would have thought, Devil's Island never happened. Just a myth. And the real man wouldn't that. So, pretty an amazing story. Isn't it? Pretty sure that it was after World War Two, World War One, because I think it was in like 1926, something like that. And um, that's the story of Papillon. Um, if you haven't already watched the movie, please do like and subscribe if that's okay. Um. Uh, it helps out for a few times. Bye.